everybody, it's Katie, and today I am going to be talking to you about Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the uh, Magnus Chase series, the first one being Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer, and uh, I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 on Goodreads. I wanted to give it a five. There was just kind of something holding me back a little bit. So, Magnus Chase, the series is about, if you know anything about Rick Riordan's uh, series, it's about uh, demigods and children of gods and all of that. And uh, he has written about the Greek gods, he is written about the Egyptian gods, and now he is writing about the Norse gods. And he is able... My dog has her squeaky toy right behind me. He is able to yield the Sword of Summer, and they have to kind of stop the world from collapsing. Obviously, the first book has to deal with the Sword of Summer. The second book has to deal with uh, the Hammer of Thor, Mjolnir, the working title on Goodreads for the next book in the series, uh, and that is the Ship of the Dead. So, I mean, it kind of flat out tells you what it's going to be talking about. That is really kind of like the non-spoilerly part of this. Now I'm going to kind of go into the more spoilerly aspects of this book. Uh, so if you haven't read it, uh, end video here or uh, stick around if you want to be spoiled. That decision is up to you. I'm not going to force you to do it. So we're at, we enter this book with um, Basically, Loki causing trouble as Loki does, basically kind of hinting that he has arranged something. And we learn that, that what he has arranged in order to get the hammer back uh, is Samara's wedding. Arrange, trying to figure out how to both get the hammer back as well as getting uh, Samara out of the arranged wedding. We also find uh, one of Samara's half-siblings, which is also a child of Loki, uh, coming into the mix and working together, the group of them, including uh, Blitz and Hurtstone, make the uh, wedding more into like a, a fake wedding. Uh, but then Loki escapes and Stygian totally helped them, which I was, I was glad to see that because um, in myth in comics, Sigyan is really kind of deemed like the trophy wife. So the fact that Sigyan is kind of very like, uh, F this, I, I'm still going to be doing my duty, but I'm going to be accidentally splashing him in the face in the po with poison at the same time. Oops, sorry, husband. What made it more of a 4.5 out of 5 is that now we're kind of deaf. We are definitely entering the territory of you need to have read all of the um, Percy Jackson books, the Heroes of Olympus, and I don't know, maybe even the Kane Chronicles, um, to really be able to understand everything that's going on into the next book, because as much as I've only read Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, uh, it kind of spoiled, the ending of this book did kind of spoil um, the fact that Annabeth and... Um, Percy got together. I am definitely going to be going ahead and reading the uh, Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympics and Kane Chronicles before the next book in this series comes out and maybe even uh, the Trial of Apollo book because who knows maybe that has something to do with it. Rick Riordan is kind of pulling a marvel with it all being connected. That is one thing that I definitely plan on doing is reading all of the rest of Rick Riordan's books. I have them I just haven't read them yet. I mean, I understand that if I read a book a day at this point, I'll still be behind, but I won't be as behind. Um, I may burn myself out again, which got me into this mess to begin with, but I also don't like being 19 books behind schedule. With that being said, my lunch is almost done. I'm going to eat. I'm going to start on my next book, which I'm about halfway through, but it's not a Rick Riordan book, but it is a book that I have had half read for a while now. So I'm going to finish that one. We'll leave a link 
to uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief review and to Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer review in the descriptions below. I will probably be making a playlist of Rick Riordan's books because there is just a crap ton of them. Um, so that seems like uh, something that I would like to have all together in one group. I'll also leave the information for all of my social media in which you can contact me on, which is my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, Goodreads, Snapchat, uh, my website, and an email that you can also contact me on if you don't want to go through any of the social media means. Uh, so, yeah. Insert a creative outro here, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Uh. That is a mouthful of a title.